Well, also heading down tonight is the temperature. The deep freeze moved deeper into the south today, and the death toll from the extreme weather rose to 17. Three people were killed in this chain reaction pileup yesterday in Indiana. Elaine Quijano is in New York City, where it never got over 19 degrees. Elaine? Well, Scott, the thermometer here reads about 15 degrees at this hour, but at one point today, it felt like minus six. Coast Guard icebreakers have been working to clear the way for barges transporting gasoline and home heating oil on the Hudson River. Ice in parts of the river is eight inches thick. Commuter ferry trips between New York and New Jersey took up to three times longer than usual as captains had to navigate through the frozen slabs. We were with Captain C.W. Davis. This ice, uh, if not uh, gone over properly, can uh, actually sink a boat. It can pierce the hull and uh, actually cause some severe flooding and just goes downhill from there. The commute was not much better in the south, where ice caused nearly 200 wrecks in Houston. Two people died on Louisiana's icy roads. It took 19 hours to clear last night's pileup near Michigan City, Indiana. Some victims were trapped in the wreckage and bitter cold for hours, including Jeff Rennell. I wedged underneath um, the, the gas tank part of the semi truck. And, and that's why, so it took three hours to get me out because my, my feet were wedged kind of underneath the truck. Um, and so they had, a, they had a cut that out and it just took forever. The cold snap has been hard on firefighters, kept busy by fires caused by people trying to stay warm. This fire in West Bridgewater, Massachusetts was caused by ashes from a wood stove. Richard Donovan is the fire chief. The first hydrant they found was frozen, which meant they had to try to find another hydrant. The next three hydrants beyond that were also frozen. Scott, the cold in the Midwest and Northeast is driving up prices for heating fuel. Natural gas prices are up nearly 28% since last Friday. Home heating oil is up about 6.5%. And these very cold temperatures expected to last into February. Elaine, thanks very much.